Chase was right. Mm-hmm. You scored again. You're taking his side? A man who threatens this family on a regular basis? You're out of control, Dad. Aside from the fact you're begging to get busted, you're not making a whole lot of sense. Why? Because I'm trying to find some way to bring this family together instead of spending eternity sniping at one another? Jason just declared war. Doesn't that have any impact on you at all? Of course it does. I won't be reduced to behaving like he does. Okay, fine, then never mind that. You know, people in your situation don't get straight until they hit bottom. And I was trying to spare you of that, but you've got to meet me halfway here. He can destroy his life completely as long as he doesn't drag us down with him. Grandfather, please. That's not going to help. I'm not interested in helping. Alan, do you realize that you have ruined our last chance of getting custody of Michael? And you've opened us up to charges of drug abuse. And if Jason informs on you, then the Quartermain name will become synonymous with junkie. I am using government-approved medication for pain in my hand. You are welcome to have me investigated. You are spouting gibberish, and you are stumbling around like a zombie. If you do one more thing to embarrass this family, I will have you out of here as soon as I can draw up the papers. can't throw me out of my own house. It's not your house. It's Monica's. I gave it to her. Look, when I tell her what you pulled today, she will be only too happy to have seen the last of you. Please, you are not helping oh. you. Why would that surprise you? Uh, Alan, uh, Alan, I should have known that you'd turn out this would way. You stop it! Insulting him's only going to push him further away. Fine, I'll have Reginald gas up the Bentley. You know what? I'm going to come back when you're ready to be a little more rational. So what? What? You, you have a better solution? What do you want to do? Do you want to coddle your father the way Ned coddles Jason? What do you think that's going to get us? We're going to go bankrupt because of that thug. Not that you've been much help either. No, the next time that you have the brilliant idea of manipulating Jason by using his child, just please, just keep it to yourself. <sighs> What if we use someone that Jason actually listens to? You have someone specific in mind? Well, now that Carly's out of the picture, Robin will be more of an influence over Jason than ever. And she's never hated us as much as he does. Maybe we can use her to smooth things over. No. When, when Jason tells Robin that your father is a drug addict, she won't let Michael come anywhere near us. We're going to have to get Alan straight before we can make any inroads with Michael. Do you have any suggestions how? Yeah, well, we could stage an, an intervention. Well, if that means finding Alan's drugs and, and taking them away, then I'm all for it. An intervention is a way for an addictive person to realize the pain that he is causing to those in his life. Now, if we do it right, maybe we can help. Wouldn't it be easier to just confiscate the drugs? That doesn't work. I know. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, before I commit, I need to know exactly how it's done. Okay. We confront them as a group. Each family member tells him what, what his drug addiction is doing to their life. Now, we also let him know that though he may think that he's handling his problem, it is affecting other people. Hmm. I'll go first. Okay, well, you have seniority. I'll start working on my speech immediately. All right, good. Now, to maximize the situation, we should have the, the whole family present. Yeah. You know, that's mom, grandmother, Ned. Emily? There will probably be some things said that she doesn't need to hear, but I think it's a good idea to include outside members. You know, Amy, Bobby... This. No, 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 no. I refuse to have half this town listening at the keyhole of this family's problems. No. You remember the nurse's ball? Huh? Everyone already has a pretty good idea there's something wrong. They'll just be speculating. People do that, but we don't have to admit it. Well, it's called being honest. Facing your problems so you can deal with them and move on. It is psychobabble nonsense, and I don't want any part of it. Uh, this family has a reputation of handling its problems in private. Right, and look where it's gotten us so far. Leaping into bed with the warmest body nearby and, and, and using every substance known to man. 
If you don't like the way we do things here, A.J., you can always leave. Is that your answer to everything, Grandfather? Just get out! I will not have this family held up to public ridicule. I have a newsflash for you. If we continue the way we're going, this family that you fight so hard to protect will disappear before your eyes. We'll be destroyed or driven off, and you'll be living in this big house alone, wondering why you didn't do something when you had the chance. All right. Tell me what we should do. I need to make a buy. Weren't you just here? It's an emergency. Look, it's not my policy to turn away business. If you keep using like this, you're going to wake up dead. I haven't run out. It's just that there are certain people who are thinking about confiscating my stash. Cops? No, my family. They want to walk in and take over my life now. Yeah, my family tried that too. Right before my old man got busted for Grand Theft Auto. Listen, I need to score. I need to stockpile at least enough stuff for two months. I can't do it. Why not? I tell you that much stuff, next thing I know you're going to be undercutting me on the street. You honestly think I turned myself into a dealer? People have done worse. <sighs> Look, at least if we could meet on a regular basis, I would feel that I was covered then. All right, where? I don't know, someplace downtown. We'll have lunch, say, every Thursday. What do I look like? A milkman? The intervention should be in a place where Dad can't walk out. And it should be private in case it gets loud. We could go to a hotel, maybe in Canada. Uh, no, he may get suspicious of that and not show up. Hmm. A picnic. What? Eat on the ground like animals? Dad suggested it. He just think that we were respecting his wishes, and once he's there, we start the intervention. When you say we, you do mean the Quartermain family. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll keep it within the immediate family. Mm hmm That would be my, my preference. Fine. Thank you. Well, then I'll check everyone's schedule and we'll get it going as soon as possible. Are you sure this will work? No. But nothing else has and we might as well try something new. I'm as hard as nails on him. I, I always have been. But he is my son. And I don't want to lose him. Hey, where's Ned? Oh, he just called. Rush hour traffic. Uh, said to tell you that he'd be another 20 minutes. Well, I'll just wait for him out on the terrace, I guess. No, you don't have to do that. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, I was in the middle of feeling helpless when you walked in, which takes all my concentration. <laughs> See, it's my father. You don't want to know. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to do that. Being designated the family secret slash cross to bear is, 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 is the wrong thing to do. Believe me, I should know. My father is an addict. A pill head. And he's probably out buying drugs right now. He's completely out of control and he's making the rest of us just as crazy as he is. Hey, wait a second, wait a second. We can meet any way you want, okay? The marina, the golf course, whatever. Get real, dude. Look at me. Do I look like the kind of guy they let into those kind of places? Look, all you need is a little bit of spiffing up, some nice suits. I'll buy them for you, anything you want. Listen, if you don't want to do this, I'll take my business elsewhere. No, hold on. You don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, call me. Yeah, we'll set something up. <laughs> 